Hi, Kate Stillman with YogaHealer.com, and I want to talk about the Living Ayurveda course. I've been doing a lot of the 15-minute Q&A sessions, and if you haven't signed up for one of those and you want to talk to me before you decide to commit, I really recommend you do so. It's been interesting having these conversations and just learning what some of the barriers to entry are for a lot of yoga students and a lot of yoga teachers, and there's, it's, it comes down to time and money for the most part, and really investing in your future health potential. And it's like on one hand that really just sounds like what it sounds like, you know, it's like something that we want but we might not feel like we can have. Um, the thing about it is you're going to change your trajectory and not just of yourself but if you have children or if you have yoga students or if you have a spouse, you're actually going to change the entire dynamic of how the people in your life, including yourself, including your parents if they're still alive, how, how everyone ages what the conversation is at the dinner table, what food is on the dinner table, how we have a human body, like what do we put on our skin, how do we take care of our eyes, how do we take care of our hearing. All of this will actually have a market shift, like starting at A and going to B because of taking the Living Ayurveda course. And this isn't just like me being like, oh no, I'm, I'm, that's just, you know, Kate's story. It's like actually I get this feedback all the time from the past participants and it's such an incredible thing just the stories that people tell and basically is like you know the way that my children eat is totally different than a year ago or what I heard the other day like my 14 year old son goes to bed early and wakes up early so he can have personal time before school hello did you have personal time before you went to school right and most teenagers what do they do they stay up late they sleep in late it's like hell getting them out of bed in the morning to get their day going and that's just one little teeny tiny example. My mom was um, preparing to go on a trip to they're going to gear up my folks uh, in, in, the next, in the next couple of days. And just from knowing you know, that she has access to my wisdom and, and people that take the course get access to the same wisdom and then they become resources for their own parents. She was asking me, you know, like, oh, you know, can you tell me just a few digestive spices I can take because I know when I eat rich food that it affects me. So sure, mom, let me, you know, put a couple little herbs and spices together and she's on her way. That kind of wisdom is the basic wisdom that you get in the course. So there's a lot of this kitchen wisdom or what they call the people's medicine, just stuff that people used to know and we forgot along the way. That's a huge component of what you get in the course. There's other components as well. Like one of the things I'm very uh, good at doing is finding out who we want to talk to and getting them on the line with us. So we have all the past recorded guest speakers so that you get full access to all those files as soon as you register. And then I'm actually taking input from the course participants. Who do you want to talk to? And then I, then I basically send that person an email or call them up and say, hey, the living, are your, you know, the living Are Your Veda course participants want to hear from you. We want an hour of you. And without fail, we've got every single one. Now I'm not promising the biggest names in the world, but like it's pretty impressive who will come and talk to us. And so there's a real living component of this and seeing where Ayurveda has gone in the past, what we know from the past, but also where it's going in the future. And that's, you know, one of the things that I'm most interested really is like where are we going with it and what is this wisdom, you know, how is it going to be more applicable in the next 10 years as life gets a little bit more hectic on the planet, as the planet warms up, as resources like water um, become less of a reality for a lot of people in the world. And, how can we learn not just how to take care of ourselves, but take care of our communities and take care of our global community? So this is some of the basic stuff that you're going to learn. Now, I just want to say a special thing for yoga teachers out there. What we're finding after, you know, this is the fifth year, is that over half the participants are yoga teachers. And I know that if you're a yoga teacher, you want to bring this information into your classroom that your students are starting to ask you, you know, what should I be eating this time of year? Do you know anything about you know, how Ayurveda works with digestive issues, etc. And, and there is a wisdom there that you're going to get. And one of the things we're going to do this year is look at how do we bring that into the classroom more? How do we bring Ayurveda back into the yoga class in a way that doesn't seem dogmatic and it doesn't seem like, oh, I'm a pitta so I can never have a cup of coffee again. Not like that at all, but just seasonal applicable wisdom. What do we need to be doing seasonally? What do we need to be doing daily as a culture to get you know, basically a whole up level happening in our yoga classroom culture that'll start to seep out into the culture of our communities. So that is another emphasis of the course. We have, you know, personal health care, family health care, 
yoga, how it relates to yoga on and off the mat. And then there's a lot of parts of the course that actually are going to bring you in a whole other level of depth into your energetic body. So the degree that you're sensitive already of how foods affect you and how you know various smells affect you and how people affect all that, you're going to actually up-level that sensitivity, which might be scary, um, but it actually means that you're developing more and more awakeness, more and more awareness of how cause and effect work, of how the whole you know, energetic body works. And so we're going to go on a tour through the seven layers of tissue and how the three, do how the three doshas work within the seven layers of tissue called the seven datus. And we're also going to look at you know, the five sub-doshas of, of vata, pitta, and kapha, and how to start to be able to recognize the patterns in our body, both the health patterns, but also the dis-ease patterns, and start to create an interconnected experience of awareness. Now, there's some new components of the course that I haven't offered before that we're adding on this year, besides our weekly calls that also include the guest speakers, besides our Facebook chat page, um, and besides the archives of the of the past guest speakers. And one of the things that we're adding this year is, first of all, we're moving from a Ning form into Facebook, and we're going to see how that works. I know most of us are on Facebook already. Um, those of you who have resistance to Facebook, don't worry. You don't have to have any friends on Facebook. <laughs> you don't want to. You can still be part of the chat group. It really works. It really works great for just keeping us in a constant stream of conversation. That is about where the course is going next and where it's gone so far. The other neat little thing that I'm going to start doing is little webinar classes. And they'll be short, and I'm going to pre-record them and just take like the biggest cruxes of... Um, the philosophy, the Ayurvedic philosophy, which on one hand is very, very simple, and on the other hand is intricately complex. And I'm going to break them down, you know, some of, the, some of these crux lessons into little webinar videos that have, you know, basically like a PowerPoint presentation and me talking to you about like, as far as I get this, this is what's going on, right? And, uh, and that'll just enable you to take a little piece of Ayurvedic philosophy and really digest it and absorb it. Another part of the course is the, is the reading and the growth work. And what we do is we, we, we basically bite off a little chunk each month. It's a very focused curriculum. And we digest and absorb that. Now, a lot of people take Living Ayurveda once, twice, three times. I've got people that have been around for a while. And they're going to be joining us too. And, you know, the idea is that you can always go deeper. And they help us deepen the conversation. But it also gives a sense that in the growth work, there's like level one, level two, level three. Because I know some of you have unlimited time and energy to put into living our Ayurveda course. And some of you are teaching like 10 yoga classes a week and have two kids and a husband and a commute. So I get it. And I basically say it doesn't matter where you're starting. And it doesn't really matter like how much time you have. What we're going to do is like work, work in just a couple hours a week. And that will slowly over time with the practices. So you have two hours a week to do the course, you know, an hour and 15 minutes to the call. 45 minutes to start to change some of your practices at home. That is enough to gain momentum. I do ask people to put aside three to five hours a week. That's optimal. More than that is accelerated. So the pace is really up to you. Um, and what usually happens is people pulsate in their pace throughout the course. And that's totally fine too. Life is rhythmic. It pulsates. And there's going to be times when you dive in hardcore with Dr. Lod's textbook and you're just can't get over how enlightening it is and how much you get it. And then there'll be times where you're like, I can't pick it up. I'm going to work in the kitchen this week or I'm going to just do bathroom practices this week. And that's totally cool. That's how it works. So I hope you've gotten a little bit of a sense of what the course is like. And, you know, it really, you know, it really will change your life. I, I can absolutely positively guarantee that, that your health evolution will be on a totally different trajectory from taking the course and you'll be able to take better care of yourself but actually it'll affect everybody you know in your life on some level or another alright if your questions have not been answered by this please go ahead and schedule that 15 minute consultation with me like why not just find out if this is a good fit for you right now and uh, and we'll take it from there okay I've been loving talking to you all bye bye